Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. In this video, let's talk about rescheduling your PMP exam. So you have scheduled your exam, but uh, you know, in the run up to the exam, you realize that you need to reschedule it for any reason whatsoever. So we tend to get a fair amount of questions around rescheduling uh, the PMP exam. So I thought in this video, let's take an overview of what needs to be done and whether rescheduling the exam is possible or not because in certain cases it is not possible to reschedule your exam let's move on okay so first of all let's talk about the pmp exam eligibility period because believe it or not there is actually an eligibility period of one year after your exam application is approved so if you want to take up the pmp exam the first thing you're going to do is fill out the pmp exam application form once you have filled it and it has been approved from that day you get a one year time period to basically appear for your pmp exam now after payment of the certification fee has been received PMI will send you an email notification with your PMI eligibility ID and this eligibility ID is something that you should keep handy because this is going to be very very important. This ID is what you're going to use to schedule a test appointment that is if you're taking it up uh, from an exam center or from your home whatever but this eligibility id will be required now if your application was selected for audit remember the first step was to fill out the pmp application form from here on we said that once it is approved you get the one year eligibility period but let's say you filled out the application form and since pmi conducts random audits and application forms it is possible that your application is selected for an audit so your eligibility period will begin on the day you are informed that you have successfully completed the audit this is important so the time that you're going to take to complete the steps required in the audit process that time is not included in the one year eligibility period now the exam eligibility period the period of time during which you are able to test you were able to take the pmp test that is one year which is something we talked about you may take the examination three times within this one year eligibility period so if you didn't clear the exam in the first go you can actually take it two more times and this is where your one year eligibility period comes into the picture so if you take up the pmp exam thrice in one year eligibility period and you're still not able to clear it then you will have to fill up a new exam application form remember that so should you so again these three is uh, these three attempts is what you have for this one year eligibility period so exam eligibility period is something that is important that is something that you should you know keep in mind when you're looking to reschedule your exam because you cannot move the exam out of this one year eligibility period okay so now let's talk about the two policies that basically apply when you're looking to reschedule your pmp exam number one is the 30 day policy and what this means is if you're taking up the exam on 5th of may then by 4th of april or before no fee will be charged if you want to reschedule or cancel your exam so if you reschedule or cancel on or before 4th of april and your exam original date was 5th of may then no fee is actually charged but let's say your exam is on 5th of may and you want to reschedule or cancel on 5th of april then 70 dollars will be charged so this is something that you need to keep in mind before 4th of april you can actually reschedule and cancel for free remember the one year eligibility period that we talk about so don't cancel it and then forget about it right so the second thing within this 30 day policy is that uh, after 5th of april you will be charged 70 dollars if you want to reschedule or cancel your exam it says up until 2nd may because that is where the second policy comes into the picture which is the 48 hours policy so if your exam is on 5th of may 8 am 
then before third may 8 am you will be charged 70 dollars but 5th of May, 8 a.m. is your exam and if you're rescheduling or canceling after 3rd of May, 8 a.m., you will not be allowed to do so and you will have to forfeit the ex entire exam fee. So please keep this in mind. If you are going to change or, you know, reschedule or cancel your exam within 48 hours, you will have to forfeit the entire exam fee so this is something important that you should be aware of and this is majorly the you know the policies that you should be aware of when you are trying to reschedule your pmp exam now obviously there can be corner cases you might end up in a medical situation and all that you will find more information about all this on the pmi website on the pmp handbook as well but this is uh, where majority of cases would fall in these two policies is what majority of the cases are going to fall in and they should be aware of a quick reminder we are now available on skillshare as well head over to skillshare.com slash pmc lounge for more all right, so let's actually talk about the mechanics. Let's talk about the steps. How do you reschedule or cancel your online proctored or center based appointment? The step one is you need to log in to PMI.org account. And if your exam is already scheduled, you're going to see something like your examination has been scheduled. Under it, you're going to find links for reschedule exam or cancel exam. Now, the second step is once you click on, let's say, reschedule or cancel exam, you are going to be directed to reschedule or cancel your exam through the exam delivery vendor. Uh, it could be Pearson view and you can review the current appointment details. So it is going to show because you have already scheduled your exam. So whatever your current appointment is, it is going to show the details for that. Then you will be presented with options to reschedule or cancel your appointment. Finally, if you want to change your exam delivery type, let's say from online proctoring to center based or from center based to online proctoring, by the way, over at pmclounge.com, we always suggest people to take up center based exam because when you're doing online proctoring and when you're taking the exam from home, all the infrastructure required, your laptop battery, everything, your internet connection, everything is your responsibility. But if you are taking the exam from the exam center, none of that is your headache. So we always suggest people that they should take their exam from the exam center. So if you want to change your delivery type, right? You you had selected online proctoring, but now you want to go to the center to take the exam or vice versa. You can do so online by canceling your appointment. So you need to cancel your appointment first and then simply selecting your new delivery type when you reschedule the exam so these are the three steps that you need to take to reschedule or cancel your appointment exam appointment okay so some important points before we close this out if you are within 30 days of your scheduled appointment you will need to contact the pmi customer care this is the link i'll share this link in the description as well you need to call them for assistance. The cancellation policy, the two policies that we talked about, that still applies, but you have to get in touch with PMI to reschedule or cancel your exam. If you are within 48 hours, this is again something that we talked about, the 48 hour policy, whereby if your exam is scheduled on 5th of May, 8 a.m., then after 3rd of May, 8 a.m., you will not be able to reschedule or cancel your exam and you will have to forfeit the entire PMP exam fee. If you send an email to the delivery vendor or PMI, these are not acceptable forms of communication. So you should not shoot an email out and tell them that, hey, I won't be able to take up the exam, which is scheduled 15 days from now. So reschedule it and then relax thinking that you have already sent them an email. That is not how it works. That is not an acceptable form of communication to reschedule or cancel your exam. If you have internet connectivity problems or any website related problem, right? Any issues that you're facing, you're not able to log into PMI.org, then you can actually call the vendor directly. You need not call the testing site. 
so let's say your vendor is pearson view you should call pearson view directly and they will be able to reschedule or cancel your exam but don't call the pearson view testing center right the testing site they will not have the authority to reschedule or cancel your exam these are the two contacts pearson view and ata i'll share these links in the description below as well so you can check that out all right no refunds let's talk about the situations where you will not get any refunds your one year exam eligibility period something that we talked about if that has expired and you have not scheduled the exam you will not receive a refund so this is something to keep in mind when you are rescheduling your exam if your one year eligibility period expire you are not going to get a refund you will have to forfeit the entire fee you will not be able to use the initial fees for anything else any other certification right if you still wish to obtain the certification you will have to reapply submit all the associated fees again so keep this in mind when you are uh, rescheduling your exam if you have scheduled the exam and you were not able to take it nor provided the necessary cancellation or rescheduling notification to pmis testing administration partner you are not going to receive a refund again you will have to forfeit the entire fee and if you want to apply again then you know you'll have to pay everything once again finally you can send a request for refund on this uh, email address that is mentioned here it will be in the description below as well and that's all that i wanted to share when it comes to rescheduling your pmp exam if you fall into a specific corner case situation let's say a medical situation or something you can check out pmp's handbook which contains more details about rescheduling or cancelling your exam like share subscribe if you like our work consider contributing by using the thanks button and check out our website pmclounge.com i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye